Hello everyone, Captain Spidey Fist here, and I'm going to be reviewing the Pokemon trading card game online. So whenever you buy those little booster packs and the deck box, stuff like that, and the big trainer kits, you will get the online redemption code for Pokemon cards in the Pokemon trading card game online. So this is it. I currently am playing it on the iPad, and it's a very fun game, and it's not very difficult to get the hang of. Um, you're going to come over here to the little play button. You've got your trainer challenges. And even if you haven't bought any booster packs, you can still get cards in-game. In fact, they will give you uh, the first few here, Born of Fire, Crushing Current, Hidden Depths. And you start with those, and you're going to just go through, and you're going to just battle your way through with those. And then if you buy any of the other sets, so I have the Midnight Surfer, which I have an unboxing video for that, where it came with the Lycanroc and the Raichu deck. And in this, it just builds a deck out of that, and I was able to use that to come through, and I beat all of the gold difficulty with it. And then by playing, you're actually going to get some Poke Coins, which you can see up there in the top. I have 113 of those. And you can come over here to the shop, and you can actually buy more of these uh, these theme decks here in order to go in and play those modes over and over. I picked up the little Dragonite one just because I love Dragonite. And I'll be getting some more later on. I'll probably end up picking up this Inteleon deck just because I like Inteleon. But you can also go to your deck manager over here and you can make your own deck. However, you can't use it in that trainer challenge mode. You can only use it in the versus mode. And in Versus, you are going to play against other players. So I am not the world's greatest Pokemon card player. I really enjoy it. My goal is to be able to play with the Pokemon that I love. And I am able to go in with just a deck that I threw together and my limited knowledge of the Pokemon trading card game and how it's supposed to work. And I am able to win most of my games, I feel like, uh... I only lose every once in a while, and it's because I can't really get out my cards because this is a luck-based game. You know, you are drawing cards. And if you have seen my videos on how to set up your decks and stuff like that, all of that's going to translate over to this game. You can play it the exact same way. Um, if all you want to do is just collect the Pokemon cards, and maybe you didn't like what you got out of your booster pack and you're trying to come over to this game and maybe see if you can get some more. Well, you get to collect all of these Pokemon cards. Here, let's see. Uh, here's all of the Pokemon cards that I have collected in the game so far. And it's a, it's a lot. It's a, it's a pretty good amount. So, as far as the game goes, it's just... I mean, it's it's Pokemon cards. It's, I mean, there's really nothing that much to it. My one uh, complaint for the app is that you cannot redeem those codes in-game. You actually have to go to the Pokemon official website, and there'll be a little area where you can sign in, and you're going to link those accounts uh, for the trading card game online and the Pokemon official website. And then there'll be an area where you can put in up to 10 codes at a time and you'll redeem them for in-game. But there's not a way to redeem it here. If you're playing on the computer, because I'm playing on the iPad, if you're playing on the computer, there'll be a little area underneath your options setting right there and it's going to say redeem, but you can't redeem it uh, on the iPad. You have to go through the, you know, through the online off your computer. Or I just get on with my iPad, I can still do it just off of a mobile, but you cannot do it in the actual game. So one tip that I have is that do not waste your coins on the booster packs, okay? You get rewarded booster packs constantly through playing the verses and stuff like that. And by completing those little trainer challenges, you're going to get booster packs at the end of them. So you get plenty of booster packs. Don't waste your coins on booster packs until you have all of the decks. Because each deck is 500, and it's going to come with its own trainers. It's going to come with its own energy, its own Pokemon. And you can take all of those and build your own deck. So I'm just going to come over here to trade real quick to show you how you're going to be able to get some of those rarer Pokemon that you really want. So I'll just click on... Uh, the little public offers here, and here's some of the public offers going on. Uh, 
they're giving out Inteleon V to get, you know, some Sword and Shield decks or some Pokemon. And some of them ask for a lot of stuff, like, and uh, a lot of these are because it was set up previously. They've already agreed on it. But all of these public trades, you can come in here and you can, you know, trade with people. You can make your own trade offer where you're going to put in your own Pokemon, ask for what you want, and then just see if anybody throws it in. It's very similar to GTS, except you're able to ask for a lot more stuff for some of your more rare cards. And whenever it comes to stuff like that, that's where your booster packs are going to be pretty helpful. But like I said, you're going to get plenty of booster packs whenever you start. So make sure you get a deck that you really like if you don't plan on spending money outside of game. Also, there is no way to get more Poke Coins by just paying for them. You can't come in to the app and say, hey, I want to pay $10 and get X amount of Poke Coins. You can't do that. The only way you get Poke Coins is by playing the game and, like I said, redeeming those booster packs and the decks that you buy in real life, you know, translate over to your little digital life here in your Pokemon trading card game online. But overall, it's very fun if you like the Pokemon trading card game and you haven't done the online yet. Like, I only recently did it because I planned on making a video, like a, a review like I'm doing now for it, and now I'm hooked. I love it. It's so fun to be able to play with all of these people. And I actually had a bunch of my, my online redemption cards saved over uh, from... You know, I've been collecting Pokemon cards for years now, so I was able to redeem a whole bunch of those, and then I bought the new packs to do the unboxing videos, so I've gotten all of those. So I have a pretty good collection going on already, and it's growing every day from playing the challenges and getting the booster packs. So you can collect a whole bunch of cards from all eras of Pokemon. So that's really it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Make sure to ring that notification bell so that way you can stay up to date with the things that I'm doing. And I will be doing more Pokemon card videos, but this is going to be the last one probably this week. It'll probably be a little while till I do any more Pokemon trading card game videos, but I do have plans to make other videos, more game reviews and stuff like that. With everybody being locked up right now, I'm going to try to put out as much content as I can. So thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. I'm Captain Spidey Fist, and I'm out of here.